Shelly. Um, here is a video lesson for you. Um, um, yeah, I just thought I'd make you a video so that you're not missing out on progressing. So basically, um, if you grab your banjo or guitar, because um, I'm gathering you don't have a keyboard, but this will be the easiest thing to do, um, and you get your tuner on your phone, which is the sound core set tuner. Go to tuner, and then, as it is here, um, I'll just put it here, like that, if you can see it. And get the hairs out. Okay, and so basically, I pick the G string because um, somewhere over the rainbow is G or around G, and it is a good female um, register to be practicing. Um, so basically, you pluck the string and you make sure that it's in tune. So that's quite in tune. up or down just make sure that the line is straight okay so then you do a little exercise um, the Z exercise so what you do is with your banjo or your guitar because I know um, you have a guitar because you mentioned that before um, you basically move your fingers up and down the frets one by one and this is also good for your um, guitar or banjo playing because you're using your fingers and your mind and getting that hand I um, feel coordination so so basically you'll go up and down the frets and every time you do the four strings you move again and this will help you with um, hand and um, coordination yeah so the first one is the, is the Z exercise so you just sing Z um, so this is a bit of a warm-up so Z, 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 So as I mentioned before, you just move up and down with each finger, each fret. So first open, so that's the G. So in, on the guitar, it is the third string going that way so not that one not that one but the next one so that's first one second one third one fourth one and you move it up so um at at first you'll probably find that a little bit tricky but then it gets easier so basically, open string, Z, 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 Okay, so that is a really good way to warm up, and the Z vowel is a bit easier to pitch on than the R vowel, but it's good to develop your... Um, hearing of pitch because ultimately um, singers have all got different textures of voice um, but if someone is not singing or hearing their singing on pitch that's where um, most people will not like their voice or where they won't get the audience response that they would like because being on pitch is the ideal scenario for any singer um, so um, that is why I'm targeting that um, for most students because um, that is a problem that we have never really addressed much. If you go to many singing teachers, they will just get you to do drills but never actually focus on hitting the pitch properly, which is essential to sounding good because if you're not in pitch, it just won't sound good. And this is something you can definitely develop. So um, training your ear is something that you can develop. That's why we have this, so that you can see if you're pitching on the note. And don't worry, um, many people will start usually flat. So if you see here, I'll show you what flat looks like. I've shown you before, but um, so say with... So hang on, let me get that note. So 
it, as you can see here, it's right on pitch. If I get closer, I get a better sound. So that's right on pitch. It's right on the line, as you can see there. And if someone sings flat, it will come below the pitch. So I'll, I'll sing flat. It's, it's, it's tricky for me to do, but because once you learn how to pitch, then it's hard to go back. So that's a good thing. See how it's below the line? That means it's flat. It's not totally bad, it just means that a person has to learn to get it on pitch. So instead of that, you want to get it Z. As you can see, that's a lot closer to the line. Um, so you want to be as close to the line as you can and it will sound better and better. So um, as I mentioned before, um, a good um, thing for you is to practice the octave for somewhere over the rainbow. I'm not sure if you've been doing that, um, but with the G it would be ideal if you then do the G low G, and then you go the octave which is the two um, little dots there on the guitar. So you just press on that one. C. And you get that on the line. Um, that way you're going to pitch that interval perfectly and people won't go, oh my god, she's singing it flat. But they won't say that to you. It doesn't even matter if they did. And even if you sang it um, off a little bit, it wouldn't matter. But it's not the ideal. Ideally, you'd want to hit it right on. Um, um, but anyway, towards working towards that, so that's one exercise you could do just once a day, just so you hit it open, which is the open G, and you sing it, C, and then you sing C up high, right? Um, and then you monitor if it's on pitch, and you try and get it closer and closer. So one way of um, once you once you finished with the Z exercise, so Z Z Z Z Z Z all the way up and down, then you do the R exercise, and um, remember to always keep everything very relaxed because if you strain, then that's not ideal. So you just that's where the dopey exercise comes in. You know, the dopey everything's relaxed, um, and you just keep trying to watch the pitch monitor and. Um, getting it on pitch. So the next one is a very simple exercise. Ah, uh, so So you do them quickly, and you don't stare at the monitor um, very much you would do it quickly and then you do it a bit more in depth and actually get the note right. Some days you might be better than others. It's a funny thing with the um, vocals, but basically I'll bring this a bit closer. Oh, I would have to hold it. Okay, so basically with the R, uh, see how that was all the way on the note. So that's what you want to achieve. Now, um, I don't want you. I don't expect you to do that straight off. Straight off, I would expect. If you can do that straight off, excellent. Then you go to the next note. Then you go to that one, which is the next note, because that was an open. Uh, 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 uh. So you do it like that, um, but slower and concentrate on hitting the note. So what I would expect most students what um, would happen is that it will pitch under, so it will be the note. So the note's coming right in, and um, it will come in as, I'm going to try and sing it flat. Uh, uh, can 
you see that? You can probably hear it too. It's not quite as nice as a nice strong pingy note. So, so the way to get up, because it could also be very frustrating to be stuck on that and always going up and down, singing it flat. Um, so if that's happening to you, which I'm not sure it might not be, but if you're singing it flat, then what you do is you work your way up to the note. So um, I'll just show you, right? So say you're singing it flat. We can get this in view. Um, uh, so that's flat. And then you could work your way up. So you kind of waver up, like ideally, so you almost like in three steps. So if it's flat, so it's uh, as if you're tuning a guitar, you tune it up, right? And you monitor yourself doing that. And then when you hit the note right, when you're lining it up nicely, then you really take it in, how it feels, how it sounds, and you keep going the next note. So the next note, so I'll try and sing it flat. Uh, see, I, I keep seeing it right on because I've trained myself to do this now. But, uh, 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 so that's flat. Uh, did you hear that? Uh, so I went from the flat. Uh, and I tune myself up, and then you really, you really sit with the note. And you really feel it, you like really feel how it feels and sounds, um, till you can get those straight lines. And like I said, don't beat yourself up. The first few times, if you're just wavering, then it's okay, because that's what happens to most people, and um, yeah, as a beginner or not, you know, someone who hasn't trained to train their vocals to be able to hear a perfect note and then be able to repeat it, um, people tend to go flat and then it just takes a bit of practice to work up to having that good pitch so that you know what you sound like and what the note sounds like, how it resonates, how it feels. So yeah, so basically the two exercises I'll leave you with is get your banjo or guitar and warm up with the Z. So Z. And then slow it down so then you monitor yourself a lot more, right? So, for example, so. So I'm getting that quite accurately. I don't know if you can see behind me, but the um, line is straight. If you come in with a more flatter sound, like... Then you would go, whoops, that's a bit flat, and just tune up slowly. So you slowly slide up. So you would go... until you get as much of a straight line um, as you can and um, you work your way up to the next note. So you've done that note, you get the next one. So I've done that again on pitch, so I'll go down again. So that's flat. And then you're going to work up. Right? So basically, you sort of slide up to the note because you'll kind of feel it. Because once you slide to it slowly, you'll feel, oh, if I go any further, it's going to be too much. So you got to just get that feeling inside of how that note sounds.